So some considerations for implementing multiple config manager sites. First of all, stick with a standalone primary site when you have a centralized administration approach, right? So the majority of your administration is happening centrally at a main data center, a main office, um, you know, whatever it might be. Uh, you're not necessarily a global organization, but even if you are a global organization, you decide to manage things centrally in a centralized data center, then just a single primary site would be fine. You don't have to go with this large, complicated hierarchy. The other thing to consider is we're not dealing with more than 100,000 clients. As soon as you have more than 100,000 clients, then you have to start dealing with multiple primary sites. Now, you can install additional secondary sites when you want to offload the client communication from the primary site to the branch location. Client communication is where the client itself is connecting into site servers for that particular site. So if you want to dedicate them to a branch location, they should, uh, you may need a uh, secondary site. Also, uh, perhaps providing a more tiered content routing solution so we have better control over the bandwidth. However, as we've talked about, uh, in many branch locations, you may be fine and well enough to just put a distribution point out there and control the heaviest part of the bandwidth consumption. Now, when do we get into multiple site hierarchy? You're going to do that when you have more clients that can be managed by a single primary. Also, multiple administrative teams that require local connectivity for their Config Manager consoles. So in other words, sometimes it's political, sometimes it's geographic, but they want a localized control over their devices and configuring their environments. So even if you're not scaling beyond 100,000, you may still create multiple primaries in a hierarchy because of that type of administrative boundary. Uh, another thing, a large number of remote locations and also export regulations on content. Sometimes, you know, when you start dealing with, uh, in the banking world, we start dealing with systems that exist and handle client data in Switzerland versus systems that exist and handle client data in the US. There are regulations around how data can be exported. And as we're controlling the flow of that data, we may consider this type of a hierarchy.